one of the things that make framing easy is that you build your wall flat on the deck. Well, sometimes in order to do that, you have to pull the wall out from its normal position where it's going to be permanently. Just pull it out on the deck where you got a flat deck to, to, to work on. So that's what we've done with this wall. We pulled it away from where it goes and got it out here on the flat deck and now we're going to nail it together. So at this point we can pull this apart. We can pull these two plates apart. They're only nailed together with eight penny nails. Good to knock those nails over because when you raise your wall, you'll be able to grab onto one. And we spread these walls apart. The distance of our studs. Find our header and we lay it in position. It goes right there where our marks are. We know exactly where it goes. And you'll note now that in this way to, in this way of building, there's no top cripple. We just nail it right, this header, hard up against the top plate. With a nail gun, it's even easier. So now we can nail in our studs. This is called the king stud because it folds right up against the header. So we nail that in. Go down to the other end and do the same. That's the king step. Here we got to build a corner. With a nail gun, this is real easy. A couple three blocks of scraps that are laying around on the deck. Nail the corner set in, and then you nail these blocks in. One there, one on this side. That's one way to make a corner. There's other ways to make a corner. Let's go down here and see how Scott made his corner. So here we have a two by six wall coming into the to tie in. So we need to use a two by six on the flat nailed in an L shape with the end 2x4 of the wall. That allows an inch and a half of the 2x6 to stick out on the other side and sheetrock ties into that corner. So you nail it together in the L, making sure it's flush on the outside, and then you lay it in your wall. The good part about this is that it actually saves a little bit of wood. We use scrap over there, but it saves that. You don't have to nail in all those scraps. Just takes two sides and you got a corner. Now we got a nail on the bottom plate. You have your wall flatter on the deck, it's easy to nail together. One of the reasons we, we wear our nail bags back here on our butt, instead of in the front, you can just reach around and grab nails without standing up, taking them out of our front pockets. As they say on the job, all I want to see is elbows and toes. And now we've got the trimmers cut. You cut four or five and a half inches short of your wall stud. Some people nail these trimmers in hard right now, but here's another way to do it. We put one nail in, right in the center. We got a nail on the double top plate. 
And that's what Scott's doing right now. It's important to do what Scott's doing here. Nail right over the set. Leaves a clear passage for electrician or a plumber.